Have you ever found yourself in this situation where you need to define the current draw on a 120 volt circuit? You plug in whatever you're trying to measure into the tool, you plug the tool into the wall, and if you're anything like me, you take your favorite Fluke T5 1000 meter and you will quickly find out that these two tools do not get along. This is so frustrating. Take a look at how these tools do not work together. The inductive amp pickup area of the meter simply does not fit around this amp tool. But wait, we have a better way. Come with me. Introducing Dan's Pro Shop Man Size Amp Tester. What we have here is the female end of a junk extension cord simply added a male end to the other and exposed the conductors in the center, hot, ground, and neutral. This way you can get an accurate reading on all three. Ditch this old girl because you know you're not going to use it and install Dan's Pro Shop Man Size Amp Tester. Plug in whatever you're trying to measure, plug the tool into the wall, and now you have the exposed conductors that you can accurately and easily read with your meter. The neutral line, the hot line, or even checking for ground faults on the ground. Good morning everybody and welcome back to Dan's Pro Shop where everything's made up and the instructions don't matter. That's right, just like this piece of crap amp tester that you saw in the intro. I hardly ever use this thing and yep, probably like you, I got duped into buying it because I thought it would be a handy tool. So, I've ditched that because we found a better way. Allow me to properly introduce Dan's Pro Shop usable amperage tester. Yeah, it's just a chunk off of an old extension cord. I put an end on and exposed some of the conductors. Yeah, it's that easy. You don't have to do any math like you do with this one. And it just gives you a proper reading on all three lines. You can't beat this. Let's go ahead and take a look at this a little bit closer and see how I made it. So let's start with this thing. This is the Klein Amp Tester tool, what have you. So the goal is you plug this into an outlet, you plug something into here, and then you take your inductive amp clamp, go through here, and then you can read the amperage. This is pulling up to 15 amps, I think this is max. Yeah, 15. However, this is my favorite meter. If you guys have followed me at all, you know that the T5-1000 from Fluke is probably the best dang industrial meter that you can get for your dollar. Yes, there are other ones, but I absolutely love this one for its compact nature, its ease of use, and its robustness. I absolutely love this meter. But the big problem with this and this, they don't see eye to eye. It's obvious this was made by two different companies because this does not work and it is eternally frustrating. So I've ditched this in lieu of this. It honestly does the exact same thing, not to mention it folds in half so it fits in my go bag a lot easier. You just plug this into the wall, plug in whatever you're plugging in, and now you have three of your conductors sticking out here that I can measure neutral line current, I can check for ground faults to see if I have any current on the ground, and I can monitor my hot while it's running. And I don't have to do any math like there is involved in this one. You see this 10 times here? Whenever you get a reading off of this, there's a coil inside of here that makes you have to figure that number out. So whatever you see on your screen isn't the actual amperage going through here. You have to figure out this equation so you know what's actually going on in here. Who needs that added bonus of uh, more stuff to do in their life whenever you could have this, just a direct reading. Plug it into the wall, plug this into your tool, and then measure it. Like, why, why make this any more difficult than it is? 
Not to mention that I love, love, love how simple this is. And everybody has junk extension cords laying around. So just pick an end. This end happened to be the female and replace the other. Expose two, three inches worth of conductor in the center. I added some heat shrink just to make it look nice, but hey, look how awesome this is. And I know if you find yourself doing this, you will love to have one of these. Well guys, that about wraps up what I got for you today. And hey, don't take me wrong. This thing isn't complete garbage. I'm sure that a lot of people get a lot of good use out of this. I'm just not one of them. I find myself in industrial applications quite a bit. And this seems to be a little more residential homeowner side of things that I just really can't get a practical use out of. It came in a kit. I thought it was a good idea to have, but really this thing has just been more of a pain than it's worth. So I took this idea and I just man sized it. So now we have something that we can actually use. This thing I use almost daily. This thing I tried to, and it just became more frustrating than anything. So go ahead and get yourself a junk extension cord and make one of these for yourself. Trust me, knowledge is power. And the more you know about your circuit, specifically when you're trying to diagnose a problem, having these things at your disposal so you're not guessing, you know what the current draw is on this circuit. This can be the difference between figuring it out or pulling your hair out. So hopefully somebody gets a little something out of this and I will see you guys next time.